Hey fire signs, this is Moon Pie. This is going to be a reading for October 1st through the 10th for Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries, okay? So if you would like to purchase the extended uh, version or <laughs> the extended reading to this reading, there will be a link in the description box below. Just click on the link and you'll be able to dive in deeper. We'll take a look, um, you know, more clarifications on this reading and how things come out. And if you are just interested to know more. Okay, so hopefully my cards will not blow away today. So I'm outside. So, all right, let's take a look here and see what the energy is for the October 1st through the 10th for the fire signs and love. Please make sure you hit the uh, subscribe button to my channel and give it a like if you like this video, if it resonates. And remember, it's general, so it may or may not resonate for you. We'll just have to see. Okay, so we had three cards pop out. We will take them. Okay. Oh, so we have the Eight of Cups, the Four of Wands, and Strength in Reverse. Um, okay, so of course, Mr. Softy's going by the Ice Cream Man. That's okay. We have some music for your reading. So the Five, or, sorry, the Eight of Cups does represent something going on here somebody either walking away um there's travel an energy of um taking this is for me always like a temporary break taking a little time out okay somebody is taking some time out to go deal with a family situation um going to a work celebration um I don't know why I'm not it's kind of like I feel like a convention or of some sort like a convention or um, also like a, a there's going away because there's something going on like a like a, either a wedding or some kind of a celebratory something coming up there's also um, I'm just hearing for in the US or um, with the holidays coming I'm feeling like Thanksgiving, there might be communication or somebody's going home for a holiday or a vacation of some sort. And with strength here in reverse, this kind of makes me feel like this is something that somebody cannot say no, they can't, they have to do this, whatever this might be. It's temporary, wherever they're going, if they're walking away from like, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't, this doesn't necessarily feel to me like a break, like a breakup or anything like that. It feels more like um, temporary separation to go take care of a family matter or tend to something to do with the family. And it's like, it has to be done. Strength in reverse feels like a weakness of some sort. There's a weakness of some sort, but something has to be taken care of. Something has to be done. And there's no, um, there's no way around this. Okay, there's no way around this. Let's take a look and see one more card, please. Okay. For some of you, there is somebody here who's going back to, um, they're going back to their marriage or going back to a family thing. They're weak. They can't say no. They're not ready for something to be over. They're not ready for, um, with the Ten of Swords in the reverse, they, there's something to do with betrayal, but somebody is not ready for something to end here. But it doesn't feel like, you know, if somebody, if you've been involved with someone and they are going back to a ex or marriage, I feel like it's, I have to go back and, and just try one more time. There's something unfinished here with whomever you're connected with. Yeah, and some of you are just, I'm, I'm just picking up some of you are like, oh, this really sucks. But if you got involved with someone who was not officially done with a past relationship or still had ties to someone who had a you know, they were still connected to that person or there was always the possibility that they could walk away um, or there could be a chance that they could, that person could reunite with 
their past person. I feel like this week there is, you know, I'm not seeing deception here. So I don't feel like somebody is saying, oh, I'm going away for a work thing, but they're really going back to the, I don't feel like that's going on. This, this is, this really feels more like, you know, whether you, this is a love relationship you're connected to or someone that you know, who's going back to try again with their ex or trying to make things work. I feel like this week this information might be coming to a head might be coming out you know I don't want it to end I, I can't there's just unfinished business there's too much but I'm feeling weakness so I feel like this person is not ready to face their future either with you or just move on away from a family or a marriage of some sort it's too much it seems easier I'm hearing because they're weak it's much easier to give in to it and just go back now let's take a look and see what else is going on okay knight of cups yeah in reverse this person is just scattered knight of cups in the reverse it's like emotions all over the place and um, they're desperate for they're very needy, very, you know, very desperate for love, desperate to, they'll say anything. I feel like whomever you're dealing with, you've known that this person has been a bit unstable. Um, and I know this is a very specific message. So please forgive me. It's just for the 10 days. Um, I will upload the monthly readings um, soon they're a little late sorry about that but this knight of cups reverse like I don't feel I feel like um, it's not like they're going right to that person and saying let's fix this I feel like this person doesn't know what they're feeling their emotions are scattered and they're all over the place with this relationship, with this past. I, it feels like going back to a past thing or trying to fix a family thing. And strength in reverse does have a connotation of like ego as well. This is an ego thing. This person's trying to fix their ego. It's not, it's not about the heart. It's not even about true love. It's about their ego must have been bruised or there was some kind of betrayal or something and they're going back because of their ego. Okay, King of Cups. So we do have uh, water energy here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. But at the same time, this is per this whether it's a water sign you're dealing with or not, this person... Um, is really trying to contain their emotions they're going back because their emotions are scattered they don't know what's happening or they're they're going away or they're going somewhere back to a family situation because they need their emotions fixed but getting there there could be something to do with a father figure as well but getting there uh, and arriving there then they clam up this person seems to just be very confused they're very confused about what they want about what they need okay now we have the hermit in reverse isolation I don't feel like um extreme isolation I don't feel like this the person that they or if they're returning to someone I don't feel like that person is trying to have reconciliation with them I don't feel like they want them back I, f I just feel like this your your person is going to go back or wherever they go to either this family member or whatever hoping to just try to fix something or get their ego fixed or you know get these emotions out and deal with the issue and whoever's on the opposite end where they're going it that they're just like I'm not talking I don't want to fix anything I'm not interested I'm not ready it's they're hoping that maybe there was going to be some kind of change they're wishing that there would be some kind of change that could fix something but I'm not seeing 
whoever they are returning to being open to discussing or talking about anything or they're not receptive the other person it's kind of a, a little bit of a wake-up call for whomever you're connected with and you know if this is like you know if this is a lover uh, of yours or someone I I feel more along there the, the other story some of you this is a like a son or a daughter who's going back to someone um, or a brother or a sister or a friend is going back to someone that you're not in a romantic relationship with. They're going back and they're, and they're going to see that it's not going to work. It seems like it's not going to work. Okay. Two of swords reversed. Yeah. Blocking communication. Just completely ignoring. Not even listening to advice or anything along those lines. I want to pull a little bit, a, a few more cards just for you because I feel like this was all about your person what's going on with someone else. I want to, I just want to look here real quick and see what's, what the energy is with you about all of this. Okay. There's a hierophant in the reverse. You're definitely going to be feeling a bit re rebellious, like against this. Death card. Oh, and you're going to speak your piece. Yeah, see, I feel like you're probably going to tell this person, um, you know what? Bad idea. I mean, you do what you have to do. You've got some stuff you need to resolve. Go for it. But I'm telling you, it's dead in the water. It's done. It's like you already know. But you can't control this person's actions and what they're going to do. You're kind of like, look, here's the deal. You know, you're going to have that conversation with them and say, look, you know, you're going back to, you know, a family situation or a relationship or what have you that just fell apart and um, it wasn't spiritually sound or healthy. You know, it's it's dead. It's time you need to move on. You know, if you don't want to come back to me, if you don't want to be with me, that's fine. But I feel like you're more in a position of, of a council, like a council position, you know, to give that, give this person the truth about, you know, what they're going, when they get there, what they're going to find, right? So I've, I kind of feel like I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to turn this into an extended reading because I want to see, you know, if, if they go back and find out, you know, that this, their other person or this family situation, whatever it is that they don't want to, that other person doesn't want to work things out, what's going to come for you? What are they going to do? You know, are they going to, are they going to come back to you? Are you going to have a conversation? Are you going to try to fix something? If it's a romantic relationship, if it's a fat, like what, what will go with them? towards you is my interest going forward yeah see the lovers in the reverse this is this is this is a breakup this is a marriage falling apart and I don't feel like this I don't I feel like your person is kind of like you know what I have to just see I have to take care of this there's like you know it's kind of like um people break up and then they spend time apart and then they get involved in other relationships and then it's like the rebound where maybe you were a rebound for this person or you're connected to this person just giving them good advice to tell them, yo, listen, it's not, this is not the right time. You're running back because you are, for what, for these are for your reasons, not because divine timing is guiding this. And um, I feel like you're, you're, just gonna have this conversation with this person whoever they are to you look it's over it's done not necessarily from your side maybe some of you will maybe some of you might say to them and get in that rebellious energy and say look you know you got to go back to your ex or you got to go do this well then goodbye then you're done if you if you were a rebound for someone and if you knew you were a rebound, you knew that they weren't fully over this person. Well, I mean, sometimes this is, you know, the risk you take. If you weren't um, a rebound or you didn't realize that you were, this, this energy is coming up. But at the same time, you know, I feel like you may just sever the connection as well. 
you know, even if it's a family or a friend, there's something going on here. There's a, there's a need to sever this connection for a little while. But I am curious to see, you know, if this person is going to try to make a return. For some of you, this might have already happened. But I am curious to see if this person is going to make a return and come back and try to fix things with you. Um, or just realize that they were wrong or what have you. So you, if you're interested to find out what's going to happen, more depth um, into this situation, just click on the extended reading link and you'll be able to purchase that reading. And if not, I wish you all the best and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.